Hola mi gente, es tu chica Sisi. ¿Cómo estás? Tengo un buen día. ¿Qué estás haciendo? Wow, it's been about maybe two weeks, feeling like a whole month since I last made a video. Pero lo siento, because I've been extremely busy with my schoolwork, running around, doing errands, having a family emergency last week. And celebrating my birthday a lot has been happening this month this month has been the far most craziest month of my life but we can get through this i could get through this and i'm so close to the finish line when it comes to school school's ending may 21st going on vacation since i haven't went last year i will actually vlog which for both of the vacations I'm going to, but I'm not going to tell you until I actually start vlogging. I'm going to vlog as soon as I wake up, go to the airport, and go to the destinations. But you guys won't know. Stay tuned for that video. Next month, I'll be making that one when I go, and then in the next, like, three, four months from now. Pero ha sido un mes loco hasta ahora. I haven't uploaded because I recently just lost my aunt a day after my birthday and due to cancer and it was very heartbreaking on me and emotional on my family as well so I had to take a break from social media kind of take a little break from school but I still showed up but I needed extra time on my assignments tests or quizzes exams etc because it was just too much right now and we had a family crisis going on. Plus I had to go to her wake. I had to be there for my family to support them, catching up on homework and had so many meetings throughout this month as well. On the other hand, this weekend was very fun because me and my family went to PA. We went to the Amish country, our favorite, to get that kettle corn popcorn and eat as much as you want, so good. We went to the pool. I didn't wanna get my belly button piercing wet because I was kinda of iffy about whether to wet it since it's still healing and it's not fully healed yet. Usually it takes three to four months to heal, but the people at Lola's told me that I should be fine. I just chose to probably wait next month or something. And as long as I clean it three times a day, that's should all that matters and, as, and then it won't get infected. So the whole squad came, the whole gang, you know, ya tu sabe, came along with us, including the dog, because we had to take care of her. She has diabetes. And the pool was freezing, so I decided to get out. I only wet half my body in until all the kids started jumping in and splashing each other by me, because I didn't want really want to go full body in, just because I was not really sure if you're supposed to go in the water, because chlorine has chemicals in it and i said maybe salt water is better but let me know in the comments below if it's fine like let's say i waited a week and then i went in but i don't think so i think you have to wait at least four three to four weeks not really sure but i did some research on that and the showers in the hotel was very nice but showers at hotel showers hit so different when you're there i just feel more tired for some reason when i take showers at hotels and i slept with my little sister academically wise i'm still pushing through to the finish line because may 21st school is over i'm looking forward to vacations coming up which i will vlog probably as time gets closer i won't tell you guys where i'm going it's going to be a surprise until i post it you will know and for one of my classes, my grade got lower because essays are mad hard, guys. Mad hard in college. I remember getting all A's and high B's in high school. Now it's just mostly high B's, but I got one C plus on one paper. And I'm like, how? I started freaking out. A C to me is like the end of the world. But all está bien. It's okay. So I just, the only problem with me, I just keep second guessing myself and it's not okay. And then from a scripture, I've never shared a scripture on YouTube before, but let's, let's, let me read it for you guys. It's always, 
well, this is just part of the scripture. It's not the whole thing. It's just something that stood out to me that I wanted to add with you guys or include. It's always easy to have faith at the end when you can see the finish line. You fought the good fight and now that dream is in sight. That's what I'm heading for and hopefully you guys head for the same thing. You guys have all these goals. Always be positive no matter just positive outcomes will happen in life if you have faith, hope, and just a little bit of positivity can change your day. And in life, that's going to lead you to that journey or new chapter. Looking at the bright side of that being positive instead of always thinking negative all the time. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Adios. See you probably next month.